He sat on the bench for 30 years in judgment of criminal defendants. And now a former Washington County judge is accused of stealing cocaine that was evidence in some of his cases. Paul Martino has the latest now from Washington County. Judge Paul Bozanski is accused of stealing drugs right here inside the Washington County Courthouse. He was a judge who oversaw a special drug treatment court. But once the state attorney general began investigating, Pozanski stepped down from the bench. Paul Pozanski was a district magistrate before being elected to Common Pleas Court in 1997. Today, he faces some horrible charges. What this looks like is a sitting judge accused of snorting evidence, cocaine. I think that's a, a fair representation of the allegations. Here's what the state attorney general says about Pozanski, that he, quote, instructed police to bring controlled substances, usually cocaine, to his courtroom. He then ordered the destruction of the evidence, which was mostly drugs, but no one could figure out how the evidence was destroyed. Attorney General claims when state police investigated evidence envelopes in the judge's chambers, they found cocaine was either missing or had been tampered with. This is troubling. Uh, this is humbling, as you might expect. And, um, uh, you know, he, and it's a serious matter, and, and he's uh, taken it as such. Pozanski was released on a $25,000 unsecured bond and allowed to return to Anchorage, Alaska. That's where he resides right now. And in all likelihood, they're going to have to find a judge from outside of Washington County to hear this case. Questions raised today at a hearing on how the case against former Washington County Judge Paul Pozanski should move forward. But the defense does not think it should move forward at all, and they're asking an out-of-county judge to force Washington County's president judge to take the stand. Harold Hayes has the latest on this. Former Washington County Judge Paul Pozanski did not return to the Washington County Courthouse today. He's living in Alaska, free on bond, after being accused of stealing cocaine evidence while he presided over drug cases. Senior Bedford County Judge Daniel Hauser has been brought in to preside over Pozanski's case. But Pozanski's attorney, Bob Del Greco, argues that in 2012, investigators discovered they did not have probable cause to get a search warrant to gather evidence from the judge's chambers and his evidence locker. So, according to Del Greco, they went to Administrative Judge Debbie O'Dell Seneca. She issued an administrative order to state police to seize the evidence and conduct an audit. He thinks she should explain that process under oath. So I believe that that is an end around. That's a circumvention of the Fourth Amendment. And I believe that that proceeding, that quote official proceeding, uh, was masquerading as an official proceeding. That was a off the record, covert, sealed meeting. And in my opinion, the fact that that occurred as such requires President Judge Debbie O'Dell Seneca to testify. An attorney for the administrative office of the Pennsylvania courts argued that a judge cannot be compelled to testify about their decisions. But beyond that issue, the defense argues whatever was confiscated under the administrative order was obtained illegally. So you're saying at some point the whole thing could be thrown out? That, that is my strong contention, and that is our objective. The immediate question, though, is whether Judge Odell Seneca has to testify. And the judge in this case may not rule on that for a few weeks. Former Washington County Judge Paul Pozanski entered a plea just days before he was set to go to trial. Harold Hayes has more from Washington. Paul Pozanski entered the Washington County Courthouse through security, just like everybody else today, because this time he was no longer judge, but defendant. I haven't seen snow in a month. He joked with former colleagues that while now living in Alaska, it took a trip to western Pennsylvania to see snow. But in court, it was a somber Paul Pozanski who admitted that cocaine evidence he ordered brought to his chambers by police either disappeared or was replaced with baking soda. The Washington County District Attorney's Office noted discrepancies and notified the state attorney general who prosecuted the case. Ultimately, that's what led to the uh, discovery that the evidence had been uh, tampered with and it was uh, no longer, the integrity of that evidence was no longer uh, good. Obstruction, the administration of justice, theft, and the misapplication of publicly entrusted properties, all graded as misdemeanors of the second degree, are what he pled to. Pozanski declined comment. Maximum jail time is two years for each count, but the defense argues a lower guidelines range of probation is appropriate. 
Zazonski is also likely to lose his pension. This is part of the, uh, the severity uh, of how mightily Judge Pazonski has suffered and will suffer as a result of his conduct. But Pazonski will be sentenced in July, and a judge from Bedford County, specially assigned to this case, will decide whether he'll serve jail time or probation.